Hello, welcome to watch instructional video. This chapter will demonstrate the simple use of RoboFlow. Before starting, please prepare the following materials. Apply Ableton Manipulator Type Here we use MikeBot 280M5 for demonstration. If you want to get information about the robotic arm you can visit our official website. We will demonstrate on Win10 system. Here's an introduction to RoboFlow. Before use, you need to pay attention to firmware burn. You can browse the operation of MyStudio to burn. Go to the official download page. Find RoboFlow down here. Download the corresponding version according to your model. Matters needing attention. Each robot arm has its own RoboFlow, which is not universal. Please download the corresponding RoboFlow according to the robot arm model. MyCobot 280Pi, MyCobot 320Pi and MyCobot Pro 600 systems will be equipped with RoboFlow, so it is unnecessary to download it. The model we are demonstrating here is MycoBot 280M5 so choose the first one. So choose the first one. Here we first connect the robot. Before using RoboFlow, we need to connect the robot arm. Insert the power plug into the suitable power strip. The USB Type C cable connects one end to the PC and the other to the MycoBot. Turn on the power switch. There is no power switch for MycoBot 280M5. The mechanical arm of PL version needs to be connected to the display screen through the display interface, and to the keyboard and mouse through the USB interface. For the specific connection tutorial, you can watch the unpacking video off or Raspberry PL version. The connection example of the Pi version can be viewed by scanning the QR code. Next, follow the instructions to demonstrate the connection or process of the MycoBot 280M5 machine. Zip to where you want. Mm -hmm. 
Open the unzipped file. Find RoboFlowsX and run it. The port shows COM3 because we have already connected the robotic arm. Enter the initial password MyCobot. Enter the main menu. Go to settings. Found robot status displayed as error. At this time, the robot cannot be controlled and you need to start robot. OK. Next, let's test whether we can control. Select empty program. Click free move. At this time, the light on the top of the atom turns yellow. Press the top light to drag the robot. At this time, we click basic and select the waypoint function. Click to save the current point. Repeat the previous operation to save multiple points. Record the track we need. We can choose any point. Click move to this point. The robot will move to the recorded point. Click free move. Cancel it. When we want to run the program, click run. OK. The robot will run according to the point just saved. Now the initial speed is 10%. We can adjust the speed later. Click Advanced. By the way, in the global speed below, set the speed value to 30% in Advanced. We can set the number of times the program runs. Set it three times and run it. As you can see, the program ran three times and the speed changed. If you just need to cycle through individual points, select logic, loop. Choose how many times you need to loop. Drag the points that need to be looped into the loop. You can add weight if you need to pause for a while. Set wait time. Here we 
reset the loop three times. Set one second. In this way, only waypoints 2 and 4 are set to loop. Run and see the effect. At this point, it can be seen that only waypoint 2 and waypoint 4 are cycled. Gripper function can also be used when we have gripper. Can control the gripper to open and close. Our basic developed some IO ports. When we use these interfaces, we can choose on or off. Return to the upper level. If precise control of waypoints is required, click Quick Move. There are joints control and coordinates control inside. Click on a joint, and the corresponding joint point will move independently. We can speed up the movement. This allows you to accurately adjust your position. Left is the coordinates control. You can move in three directions off X, Y, Z, and you can also adjust the pose. Hardware connection is shown in figure. After Rooney Robo Flow, select empty program. Click configuration. Click underscore Modbus. Add underscore root device. Select port number, 485 USB. Click Add Sonal. Select EV, i.e. Modbus protocol. Details are shown below. Set the underscore address and underscore name. Change the name to something more recognizable. Set slave underscore ID to 1. The slave ID is unique here. If multiple RTU devices are added, the slave ID of each device cannot be set the same. Return to previous menu. Click Basic Set. Select Protocol. Set value, digital value is 01 and regisitor has no limb. Check set modbus. At this point, modbus setup is complete. The above is all the content of the video. Thank you for watching.